Hello, I built a mildly over-engineered and slightly artistic dog feeder out of scrap wood. And I built this for these two dogs. Our dog feeding situation was cluttered and not great. Now the dogs don't care if we have a cluttered feeding area. They're dogs. But I wanted something more compact and it looked better. Kind of a cooler way to feed the dogs in a smaller area. And I decided I could build it out of wood and make it maybe mid-century modern, use tongue oil and make it look kind of cool. Because I can. I'm going to make it out of scraps because I got all these scraps and dinosaur parts. I ended up with red oak, poplar, and some other wood. We don't know what it is, so we're just going to call it brown. Now I have a couple dozen strips of oak, poplar, and some other third wood that we're going to glue together so my dogs can eat. eternity later. A quick pass by the circular saw on each end makes everything look clean and professional, almost like I know what I'm doing. The center mounted water bowl measures 7 inches, so I'll have to cut a 7 inch hole. I'm going to use my jigsaw to cut the water bowl hole. It's a fairly simple cut, so I'm going to freehand it. I mean, is it a perfect plan? No! And I think that's what I like about it. By sheer coincidence. The feeding bowls are exactly the same size as my circle cutter. So I can use the circle cutter to cut a circle and I have to freehand it and get this right the first time. When you're using your circle cutter, if you don't want to tear out on the board, go halfway through, turn the board over, Use the hole that's already there and start from the other side and it'll come out clean. It sounds like a simple thing, but it took me a lot of years to learn how to do that. Now that the food and water holes are cut, I'm going to cut this piece off and this piece off at 45 degree angles to make the legs. Two passes on the saw give us two legs. This turned out to be much easier than I was expecting it to be. I'll take this side and put it over here, and this side and put it over here. You see how the stripes all match up? So when I stand these up and glue them together, the stripes fall around the edges. I'll have sort of a waterfall side to this dog dish, even though it's not a real waterfall, it's close enough for dog work. It's all together, sanding is complete, now it's time to put on the stain. Everybody always likes this part, so here's the tongue oil. The next day... Eight hours later... It's all set and ready to go, so now it's time to field test. Let's go. Well, now that I got the official approval from the dog manager, this will be our new dog feeding station. 
This is the kind of thing you can build fairly easily, and it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And this was made out of scraps and spare bowls from the other stuff that we had. So basically free. Build stuff like this for your house. Make your house look like you so that you can have really neat stuff and you can tell people, hey, I made that. My shop dog Mabel's here to help me say thanks for watching. And if you like stuff like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you won't miss any more videos. As for us, we're gonna go build some more stuff. Have a great day. Hey Mabel.